Battlefield 2018. I know you're probably not thinking about it at the moment, because let's be real. We have three Battlefield 1 DLCs to be released, and then the competitive mode to be introduced into the game, so there is quite a lot of stuff waiting for us with BF1. However, DICE has already confirmed it, that the next Battlefield title will be released in 2018, and it probably will be October, since all of the major Battlefield titles, meaning BF4, BF3, etc, released in the October. And now the most intriguing question, after seeing Battlefield 1, is what time setting or what theme will the new Battlefield title be in? You might not be aware of this fact, guys, but at the point in time when I'm recording this video right now, it is the August 2017 and at this moment DICE already has a stable build of the next Battlefield game. Of course it's not perfect, but it's playable. And they already have stuff like the character models or maps designed. Basically like a week ago, before DICE has announced the competitive for Battlefield 1, we had four options to go with in the next Battlefield title. Some players thought that the new game will be based around the competitive and the ESL and it will not be a next big Battlefield game, but that of course is not true since the competitive will be introduced into the Battlefield one and it will not be a separate title. Alright, so now we are left with three time settings or themes for the game, which are the World War II, the modern times or the future times. And let's start off with the last option that I listed, which is the future time. I don't think there is a high chance of DICE deciding to go with this, because this year we are getting Battlefront 2, which will have multiple DLCs, as DICE has already confirmed, meaning that they are not likely to kill this title with the next Battlefield. If you guys remember, the previous Battlefront wasn't such a huge success. It didn't last that long and I think that DICE will try to go and increase the lifetime of the Battlefront 2, but they wouldn't be able to do it if they would release the future Battlefield title. Even though Battlefront has its own Star Wars universe, those still would be somehow similar to each other and when players would have to choose between a Battlefield franchise and a Battlefront franchise, well, we know that they would go to the Battlefield franchise, at least the majority of the players. Also, when it comes to the future times in FPS games, we've all seen what happened to the previous Call of Duty. Simply the majority of players hated it. And apart from those facts, I don't know if it would be smart to make a jump from the World War I era to the future times, because Battlefield 1 has attracted so many new players and in their mind, Battlefield is about big wars, not something fictional that hasn't happened. And while I know you could argue with that easily, most of Battlefield 1 player base are casual players. They see an ad with Battlefield 1 and explosions in it, they buy the game because they can blow up everything. That's pretty much how the casual players think these days. So that now we are left with the two options, meaning either World War 2 or the modern times, and for now, I can only guess what it will be. Because no one knows except for the DICE developers who are currently working on developing Battlefield 2018. They could go with the World War II to follow the timeline and the order of the stuff that happened in our history. I just don't know if they would go for such a move if there will be the Call of Duty World War II on the market. Let's not forget that the new Call of Duty comes out this year and Battlefield 2018, well, obviously next year, since it's called 2018. So, by the time Battlefield 2018 is released, players who wanted to play the World War II game would have already played the new Call of Duty for a year. And I'm not claiming that all of the players who want a World War II experience will play the Call of Duty, but some of them will, and it already will be a huge portion of the market. But then again, it could all go into the completely different direction and end up in the modern times. Tons of players who played Battlefield 1 complained that the game didn't meet their requirements and because of the fact that DICE went with the World War 1 era, 
the game lacks content, there's not enough weapons, etc, etc. And then we have another group of players who haven't even tried Battlefield 1 because they already assumed that it will not be a good game when they saw its time setting. So as you see, it's quite hard to say something at this moment because both World War II era and modern times have reasons to exist and be in the next Battlefield title. However, I'm quite certain that even if they wouldn't go with the World War II in the 2018 game, they will go with it eventually. Whether this is the 2020 game or 2022, they will go with the World War II. Even though you might not like Battlefield 1, you might be saying that it's dying, that it's casual, there is one thing that's certain. Battlefield 1 had the best launch out of all Battlefield games in the whole history. And I'm quite sure that if they go with the World War II theme, the sales will go even higher. But let me know guys what do you think the next Battlefield title will be, write down the comment and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.